because it's true that investing has been a pretty traditional business where each partner has her own portfolio, her own Rolodex on a lot of experience and it's difficult to, uh, to, uh, to change this. So you have to give a first result. So maybe, for example, you can just at the beginning at every committee give a list of companies that they don't know that might be interesting. Or you can just do more than things like uh, using a search engine to index all the documents, all the mails and things like that. So give immediate value. After that, on a more global uh, level, I would say, what do we say to our portfolio company? Would we say to any of our portfolio company, oh, no, no, don't do data. This is a, this is a stupid trend. Uh, people will not use data and will not do data engineering. We actually push all our company to do digital transformation. And investing is the same kind of, of business. Uh, it's a business. So it needs digital transformation. Digital transformation can be something pretty light like just adding some digital automatic processing to, uh, to all the process. Uh, but it can be more, more interesting, like what we do and what we actually do with you. Uh, so first thing is I would advise hire someone inside the team that knows how to build products, uh, that knows what it means to uh, uh, create a software that can be used. That would be the, the first advice. My second advice would be uh, find uh, a bit, uh, find data providers that provide good data quality. You don't have to scrape anymore. Almost all the data is available online now. On three, again, go for the go for the easy win. Find a use case that actually at least two or three uh, investment partners care for, and go for that. Don't go through long, like two years development and things like that. But definitely have uh, someone inside with uh, data and software engineering experience. No, I think you should start with things which are much easier, like indexing all your data. Like who's talking to who? People network. You, you want to reach out to this company? Probably someone in your company, especially at Vertex, where you have a huge network, Probably someone is already in contact. So just indexing that is a, is a, is a great and easy thing. After that, I would say uh, maybe even if this sourcing is difficult, maybe you can use as a data as a data specialist. Maybe you can build some list. Maybe they want you want to invest a new domain like biotech or I don't know or 3D printing. Well, not really new, but something where you were not investor before. And then with data, you can very easily build a, a fast hit list of companies that they should see before everything. Those are, those are easy, easy case to, uh, relatively easy case to, uh, to automatize. Our first uh, mission as a data team was to try to, uh, to find enough and deep tech companies to prove that this market was deep enough. And so that's what we started to do uh, by building scraper, scrollers that would go all over uh, the web, open source on semi-closed source like LinkedIn or, or PitchBook, and to find interesting company where Joel could invest. So that, that was the first thing. And uh, it took us almost two years to build this engine and to build enough data that we could actually give uh, uh, create some value for Joel Capital. So on the, the first challenge was the UX actually. I remember the first time we we showed the, the software uh, inside Jolt, people were saying, oh yeah, it's interesting, yeah, a lot, lot of data, but they were really, they, they were not getting it. And so we hired a UX specialist, we did the UX, we didn't show anything to the data, and then we showed it again, and we had much more adoption.